In this video, we're going to talk about the new Data Marts feature that came out as part of the Microsoft Build 2022. We're going to look at why you would need something like this in the first place and also how it compares to currently existing solutions like data flows or shared data sets. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So first, let's talk about this new feature, the Data Mart. So what exactly is it? Basically, it's a new capability available in Power BI service that lets you create your own database for your own data without needing help from specialized IT teams. So the idea is if you have a small scale project, like for example, building a report for your department and the data for your department is not too big that it needs a data warehouse, but it's also not too small that it takes actually a lot of time for you to prepare your data repetitively on a regular basis. Data Marts essentially allow you to create a central database where your data is collected, cleaned, updated and secured so that if anyone in the team needs data, there's a single source of truth leveraging all the work done on it previously. To create a data mart is actually pretty simple and fast and this agility is most welcome. You'll know that if you work with IT teams in the past, deploying a database and having it set up can take a long time. And now this new feature gives you that sort of flexibility to get started very quickly. Now, Data Mart is a new feature and it does have functionalities that are common with other solutions that already exist, like data flows, for example. So we're going to look at some of the observations I made and when you'd use it. First of all, if you keep up with my videos, you'll know that sharing data sets is already a feature in Power BI service. It basically allows you to create a data set, publish it into the service so other reports can use this and reference it with their own reports. The limitation with shared data sets though is that you're limited to the changes, if not fully unable to make changes to the model, if you're only connecting to it using a shared data set. This is because when you connect to an existing data set in the service, you're actually not creating a model for your report, which is what usually happens when you create a report in Power BI Desktop. So this means creating a new column, modifying relationships, creating measures, anything to do with the model, you can't do it here. So instead you'll need to modify the data sets that's published in the Power BI service. And once you've made that change, those changes will then cascade to the reports connected to it. Speaking of transforming your data, data flows and data marts work very similarly with few distinct differences. They both allow you to transform your data. So basically think of Power Query, but on the web. If you're using data flows to transform your data, you can use the full capabilities of Power Query transformations. So things like grouping columns, merging tables, creating new columns to transform your data, but you can't do things like creating relationships or creating measures because what you're doing in data flows is essentially creating and cleaning tables of data, not actually creating a data model. With Data Marts, because it's positioned as a SQL database or alternative, you can build your models here, like create new measures or create relationships. You can build and modify your models here, like for example, creating new measures or creating relationships. One limitation it has though, which I find a bit odd, is the inability to create new columns. To me, this is a bit of a drawback because I create a lot of calculated columns and sometimes to supplement the transformations I'm making, and not being able to do that is not a good fit for my use case on a usual basis, really. 
And speaking of which, another difference is that Datamart is a feature that requires a premium subscription. So either a premium per user license or a straight up premium license will enable this feature as an option for you in the Power BI service. Data flows do have its own limitations though, if you're using it as a free or a pro user, like the storage and capacity, like the lack of incremental refresh, calculated and linked entities, things like this. These features will be limited for you as a pro or free user, but you can still create data flows for yourselves regardless. Role level security is also something available in Datamart. And if you don't know it yet, it's the ability to control what users have access to when they interact with a data set. So maybe you want them to only be able to see their departments or maybe see their own country's data. And if you don't know much about role level security, I already covered it in a separate video. However, if you do know already, you can embed this logic straight into Datamart, which gives you that extra layer of security when your users connect to it. Dataflows, on the other hand, doesn't allow you to do this as it's treated as a data preparation tool rather than a data set. So you can configure who has access to the data flow, but once they have access to it, you can't really control what they can see within it. Another cool thing about data marts is that it allows you to do visual transformations when you're working with the data. So if you're not familiar with scripting, this route allows you to apply changes to your data and preview results without having to write a single line of code. If you do know and are familiar about SQL scripting, your life can be made faster for you because data marts allow you to write your own SQL statements straight from its UI, which is a good option if you prefer it in this sort of written format. Similar to data flows, one of data marts biggest selling point is that it's platform independent. This means that as long as you have an internet connection and a Power BI account, you're able to create your own data models straight from the Power BI service. So if you're using machines like Mac or Linux, for example, and you're not able to install Power BI desktop, both Datamarts and Dataflows allows you to build out your data and work with the Power BI service. And lastly, what I think is the greatest feature of Datamart is its availability as a data source. So similar to a SQL database, you can connect to a Datamart from a Power BI report, but in reality, you can connect to it from anything. It could be from, let's say, an Excel workbook or a custom app. You can't do the same thing on things like data flows or shared data sets though. This ability of being able to connect to a data source similar to a SQL database means that your solutions don't really have to be tied to Power BI and you're pretty much free to use a solution that fits your exact needs outside of Power BI. And that's really it on how data marts compare to other solutions in Power BI. Overall though, my impressions are not overwhelming. I think data marts follows Microsoft's push towards low code, no code. But I think on my specific scenarios, this doesn't really solve a whole lot. And a big barrier to entry for me is the fact that it requires a premium license, which I think will affect its adoption, at least on the initial term. Only time will really tell at this point. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know a little bit more about data marts and how it compares to other already existing solutions in Power BI like data flows and shared data sets. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so I know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.